Hey dolls. Um, really natural today. I'm actually this is conditioner sitting in my hair, but I wanted to come to you guys. It's been a while since I've done a video, and I wanted to do this video because I've been holding on to this stuff to show you guys for so long. But I've just had like a crazy schedule. Haven't been able to like get you know. I haven't been able to even breathe, let alone like do a video. But um, it's called Black Friday Smack Friday, and it's all the things that I got on Black Friday. And surprisingly, I haven't used or touched any of them. They've stayed like for the most part in the bags. The one shirt is on a hanger. Um, but sit back and enjoy because I got some really really good stuff left. Stay tuned. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is this great stuff. Um, I'm sorry, I probably should have had this stuff out, but I'm never, like, something is really wrong with me. I'm never really, I don't know. But, um, it's this great stuff I got from Vicky. And, okay, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you need to. Makeup Mistress 007. I love smell goods. Like, I'm always doing a hashtag smell good life. Um, because I'm obsessed with perfume. Like, I, they're my babies. Um, so... I got some really good, like, deals on some gift sets. I got this, um, Noir Tease Me gift set. And they, the gift sets were, like, two for 25 And this other set I got, I, well, I got this one, too, the Bombshell. And then this other set that I got, I got it because, um... I used to be like this love spell addict like when I was in high school and that was really long time ago and I um stopped using it because everybody started using it and it was like every time I would smell it again it was just I don't know so recently I've been smelling it on people and I'm like oh it smells really good so then it didn't help when I went to the store um that uh the set not only did it smell good but came in a purple bag and purple is my favorite cover color but pause time out sidebar People were about to get killed in Victoria's Secrets on Black Friday. First of all, it's a death trap. It was one way in and one way out, the one I went to. I got there an hour and a half early, and the line was already wrapped to the back. And then once people, like, the doors opened, people just ran in, and it was, like, pandemonium in there. Like, I was really scared for my life for a little while. I didn't even get anything, honestly. Like, I went out that night, I didn't get anything. I waited till the next day when I had to go to work, and on my lunch break, um... I got a lot of the stuff because, and then the line was like wrapped around the Victoria's Secrets. This one lady told this girl that they were going to get the S-H-I-T beat out of them. And it was just like real crazy. And it was a lot of ratchetness going on. And it was really, really scary for me. I don't, I haven't done Black Friday in years. So for me, it was just like crazy. And you know, as the years have gone on, people have gotten crazier. But anyhow, let me show you my love spell. Back to our weekly schedule programming. Um purple bag and I absolutely love it and this was only um I think this was like 20 it might have even been 18 it really wasn't that expensive and it has the lotion and the the soap and all that stuff um so then I made my way up to uh actually that night I did get a lot of stuff I'm sorry I that night I did get a lot of stuff from Charlotte Rouge and um I took everything I got from Charlotte Rouge back except for this one shirt, which I think is super cute. I love floral prints. I love feminine stuff. And I'll probably do an outfit of the day with it. It's like a crop top and it's long sleeve. And it's just really, really pretty. I have some really pretty pink pants that I can do with this. Or just a lot of things that I can do with this. Um, and then when I took, because I had bought probably like the sale there, I think every shirt was uh, $12, and then I got some stuff on clearance, which was like 10 or $5. I spent like $100 in there, and I took everything back except for I kept that shirt, and then I got this. I, I love jewelry. Like I'm like an accessory cost, uh, costume jewelry fiend. I love everything that's gaudy and shiny, hence my earring and the big bow on my shirt. Um, but I got this, which is really heavy duty. And all of their jewelry was five dollars uh, for their Black Friday sale. Um, and I got these earrings, and I was kind of upset because I went to another store and they had them in like a teal green color. But it's against the law, you know, to return earrings, so it was just kind of like I'm stuck with them. And I already have a black and gold pair, and that's why I probably shouldn't like impulse shop because I buy things and then I already have things that looks like it and. It's just not, it just gets really like, I don't know. 
So, and then I got this cross, which is really, really pretty. Um, and it's just a cross. Like, my coworker was, like, trying to explain to me, like, the different kind of crosses. And maybe one day, like, I'll sit down and research it. But I don't even have time to do anything. So, um, I didn't get a chance to research what kind of cross it was. Um, and then... I am in love with the Kardashians. Like, I have, like, a love-hate relationship with them. And, um, I had, like, ventured down to Sears while I was on my break to look at the Kardashian line. And the stuff was, like, 40 or 50% off. And I got some really, really nice stuff. Like, I am in love. Like, black and white is, like, my favorite trend forever. Um, because it never really gets old. And, um, I actually... Um, want to do a lookbook with all black and white and you'll probably see this this piece I'm about to show you featured in it but it's this um, it's a black and white like you you can see it can you see it guys see it see it it's like a and I'll like it's it's super cute it's like a black and white um I don't even know what to call it because it's not a cardigan and like it was only like I paid $34 for this. I'm kind of bummed because now it's on sale for like $24. But it's fine because it was worth the purchase. And there's a lot left. I don't know if people don't really like those things. I don't know what to call them. But it look, it's really, really cute. Um, and then I got this too. Which is really, really pretty. Um, and this is like a long sleeve like knit shirt. And this actually, the crazy part about it was... This was originally $68 and I paid $24.99 for it. So, like, I I really love this piece as well. Like, it's big, it's it's slouchy, it's everything I need um, that I can just go and be comfortable but be cute, throw on some skinny jeans or some tights and just work it out. So, on to Cyber Monday. And another reason why, besides the fact that I don't have any time um, that it's taken me so long to do this video was because I ordered some stuff from BH Cosmetics and it just, like, got here probably like two weeks after Black Friday and I was really pissed off about it but um I don't know they said because of the holidays so blah blah blah, blah. I have to understand um and I'm sorry guys I'm doing a lot of moving which is hard to stay focused on me um, can you see me still okay I'm back in the shot but um I only spent like $58 and they had like a really really great sale and I haven't done my makeup in a long time. Um, just because I've been working a lot. And I probably shouldn't admit that I haven't done my makeup in a long time. But, um, I got, like, I've been wanting to. And I said I'm going to start the new year off and start doing a lot of things differently. So, I got, um, the purple makeup brushes. And I think the brushes and, like, one of these palettes and, like, a, a eyeliner. And I don't even know where I put my gel liner. Um were all on sale for like $23. Um, and since we all know BH Cosmetics, I don't need to show you guys the pigments and stuff, but I got BH Party Girl because I really love the things I see on here um, being done with this palette. The, this neutral palette, the 28 color neutral palette came with the, the brushes and the palette and the, eye, the eyeliner for $20 something dollars. And I got... Um, the first edition of well, wait a minute i wasn't supposed to get the first edition i was supposed to get i thought i ordered oh no okay maybe the first it was the first edition palette oh i i ordered it i'm sorry guys i'm all over the place i got the first edition palette um the 120 palette and i got the fifth edition 120 palette um and i'm gonna be doing some stuff with this stuff in the new year and you know just i look forward to all the things i hope that you guys enjoyed my uh haul i don't want to keep you guys too long um and since i didn't show you guys any swatches or anything it's probably boring but i just want to show you guys what i got for black friday and i only spent probably like a hundred and maybe like 120 dollars which is good because i have a problem um, so, uh, until later, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, see you soon. Smooches. Remember, follow me on Instagram, guys. Makeup Mistress 007. Bye-bye.